Hey, what's up guys? I uh, just want to make another video talking about basically die-off and yeah. So I've been doing a lot of antimicrobials uh, lately. I've been doing a lot of oil of oregano. Uh, I've been doing a lot of garlic, a lot of herbs. Um, and I've been having some pretty extreme uh, reactions at least I've been feeling super duper out of it and so let me go through the symptoms that I've been experiencing from the die-off one is my memory gets super foggy um, like you could tell me something right now and ten minutes later it's just kind of gone like my memory just gets really bad and my brain feels like it's squeezing inside or like squeezing inward and also my eyes feel like they get like that too they feel kind of cross-eyed and it's um, interesting because today I had a functional neurology appointment and when he was looking at my eyes my left eye was a little off to the left a little bit and he could clearly see it and so it kind of matched exactly what I've been feeling or at least what I experience when I'm taking antimicrobials is that my in my brain there's things happening obviously there's inflammation from the die off which I'm trying to reduce but so like basically it kind of makes my eyes mismatch or not work in sync properly together when these chemicals from the die-off are going into my brain and so that's another thing like when I, I've it feels like a lot of the time when I'm in this state of die-off it's like I, it's hard to look at things because my eyes are kind of off and so it's like I'm getting I don't necessarily see double vision um, but it's like my, my eyes aren't working together properly so it's like I trying to look at something it's like oh what what is going on so it's just like my brain is like feels like it's freaking out like that and then also um, my heart rate increases my circulation gets worse for sure um, and you can see like with rain odds like my um, hands will get really pale if I hold them like this and even my face and stuff um, my blood pressure definitely goes gets higher like a lot sometimes my blood pressure can be so high that I can just look at my well, I can feel my heart beating super hard a lot of the time but also I, if I just look at my arm or something at a vein and I can I can literally see it just pulsing really hard and it's not like that all the time but that happens um, also I can just feel super high and drunk um, and it's interesting because of the concussions like there are these there are pathways that are opened up into my brain in specific areas and so it's like okay when I experience when I feed the bacteria yeast parasites the stuff that's inside of me I get certain symptoms um, but then when I kill it off and when I experience that die off I get symptoms in the same areas of my body but it's just different so for example um, one of the symptoms from last concussion is my limbs like my arms my legs they feel like they kind of disappear like I can't sense where they are sometimes that seems to happen when I feed the bacteria or whatever but when I kill it off I can sense where they are and I can feel where space is better which is another symptom but everything feels kind of floppy like I can't control it very well and like my wrists get kind of floppy and it's really hard to explain but it's like and I, there's no way I'm ever going to map out every single thing that's happening to me and what makes it happen and everything. But 
there's definitely patterns that um, are taking place and yeah um, so basically like I get because of the even other injuries not my brain injuries I've noticed like I injured my hip flexor a while ago or a couple many years ago and that when the bacteria feeds off of stuff and creates that inflammation that gets super stiff um, but then if I'm taking probiotics that goes away just like or taking the right type and amount of probiotics um, that inflammation goes way down and it's the same with my concussions um, but when I kill off the thing that is in like the overgrowth then it also kind of makes symptoms in those places where there's already that injury and so it's so confusing and so debilitating mentally like when I'm when I'm in when I'm taking these antimicrobials and experiencing the die off from them it's so disorienting like I feel so out of it and so not here like that's another thing like depersonalization derealization I've noticed that um, when that bacteria feeds and creates that inflammation DP and DR get worse when I take the probiotics and stuff the, the DP and DR goes away um, but when I kill off the stuff I can kind of I feel kind of like that too where it's just like my body is filled with this inflammation and it's causing this numbing response <laughs> so yeah it's I've, I've spent a lot of time before the concussion doing emotional work and stuff like that and looking into psychology about depersonalization and dissociation and I know a lot about it and it's um, it's not even it's not my focus anymore because I've literally felt it just go away when the inflammation is gone which is really interesting um, it's like this inflammation and these byproducts of the, the overgrowth inside of me they cause my nervous system to be amped up and so it's like that amped up nervous system requires this numbing response and so that happens and there's the emotional aspect too and I'm aware of that but out of all of the work I've done emotionally I haven't felt like I've I haven't felt as normal, clear as I felt when I've had this, when I've had the lack of inflammation response from my digestive system and in my body, which has been experienced through either really good ripened fruit, because it digests quickly and doesn't really feed that stuff, or really good quality and high dose probiotics. And so. Yeah, I'm not really focused on that, but I, I just talked about it because it, it happens too. But, <clears throat> yeah, with the die-off, it's so severe, and so it's like, I want to get rid of this root issue that's, like, I don't want to have to be taking probiotics with every meal to kind of protect my food from being eaten by this overgrowth of bacteria I want to get rid of that and then rebalance it with the good uh, the good bacteria and so I don't have this inflammation response but that just means I gotta get in there and cut out the bad and it's so uncomfortable and so hard doing that just the die off so it's like I go for a couple of days and it's like what is even happening okay I need to stop doing what I've been doing and so then what I, I guess what I'm trying to do is kill it off as much as I can tolerate and not overburden my body to the point where I like I would die I guess but basically kill off the stuff and it's like okay maybe I need a break then load in the probiotics kind of kill kill off the bad, rebuild the good, 
and I'm trying to just work with that and I'm seeing more stuff come out in the toilet for sure uh, I filmed it I'm not sure if I'll upload that um, I just want to keep a record of it so looking back I can know what's going on and also just because it's super interesting but yeah and my diet is is a lot of a lot of green juices a lot of vegetable juices I just made a juice and yeah so a lot of vegetables a lot of vegetable juices a lot of herbs a lot of spices a lot of antimicrobials and I'm trying to get trying to get um, like water kefir water kefir going um, <clears throat> I've been doing it but like the last batch I had kind of got off balance and so I'm trying to do with a different brand and get a consistent source of fermented food probiotics I'm also doing a lot of sauerkraut um, the main source of calories is from like avocados um, some coconut oil but sometimes I have to be careful because that's also an antimicrobial so it's like most of my calories are coming from juice not really fruit juices although some a little bit I'll add some like I just added some apples into um, this carrot juice I just made but other than that for right now I'm trying to keep the carbs and sugars pretty low I'm trying to do a period of time where it's like higher fat and try to starve it off as much as I can even though I know that the fiber also kind of creates this fermentation as well um, <coughs> but yeah that's kind of what I'm doing and eventually I'm gonna maybe like around New Year's or in January I don't know really but I want to switch from doing the high fat to go back to the higher carb and then try try to take the turpentine and see how that goes. I'm not sure um, exactly what I'm going to be doing because it changes every single second. But yeah, just wanted to make another video talking about whatever is going on in my brain, whatever is going on with my health. Um, I feel like my brain feels pretty clear right now talking, but I still feel weird and die, kind of die off -y and removed and it's kind of off but yeah that is it I'm gonna drink these juices and yeah uh, I don't know when I'll make another update video I'm gonna try to keep doing them pretty consistently but when I'm feeling awful which is a lot of the time for us at least from the die off I can't talk at all like I'm just kind of shut down especially when other people are here like my voice literally gets like faint it's like no I can't talk and an one other thing that happens is with sounds like everything around me doesn't feel or seem super loud all the time but like certain sounds especially higher pitched sounds will they just feel super sharp in my brain and it kind of hurts and that happens with the die off I've noticed too um, yeah it's there's so much going on and it's so overwhelming to try to put it all together so it's not even gonna try anymore for right now but yeah just wanna make this video like I said whatever minutes ago yeah peace <laughs>